So Carrie and I have come to my super secret spot to find uranium, uranium ore. And uh, it doesn't seem that super secret. There's a highway right there and stuff, but we've been, I've been having really good luck here. So we've come back today. I brought my fancy Geiger counter, but I turned it into like a metal detector style. And we're gonna come out here and see if we can't uh, find some uranium ore right here in this location. since I'm on times 10 and I'm getting 30,000 counts right there. All right, let's dig there. It's the mother load. Yeah, let me get the shovel this time. You guys remember our World War I trench shovel? Coming in handy for our uranium dig here. All right, I, got I found that way. way high up in the mountains when we were parked, our whole bus was parked up in Greer, Arizona. So that's why I bring this to pinpoint. We're getting 1,600 counts per minute right there. So it's still down there. Definitely getting close. We're up 2,800, 2,700 counts. I think it's right there. And that black right there usually is indicative. So step back over that for a second. Let's see. That is not our rock. Not the guy. The background here is like 400, you know, which is a lot higher than we see. Oh, here it is. You found it? It's just that little guy? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. I couldn't hear it until I got close. Let's get some more. Woohoo! <laughs> that hot spot. Oh, we got another one. Nope. Yep. There it is. Oh my god. Another really spicy piece. More spicy than the last one. That little guy. Wow. Check that out. Can't wait to see what they look like when they're washed off. Yeah. All right, let's check. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, doesn't still seem like we're done like yet. Oh, it's a good one. Still got a lot of good hot, spicy ore right there. I'm gonna turn this the other way so we can see it from the camera. Sure. Nope. This one over here doesn't have volume, does it? No. You can switch the switch on it though. Which? The, the toggle switch is the right one. The right one down? Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, left one. Oh, wait, we must have pulled it out already because it ain't here. Oh, no, there it is. I need to dig back more. Right there. Oh, might be a big one, huh? 
see what happens when I do that. These aren't the stones you're looking for. It's hot. Uh, it's over there. It's definitely back this way. It's in there. What commercials were that they said? It's in that. Some spaghetti sauce or something. Maybe. <laughs> Garlic, it's in there. Love, huh? It's in there. This looks like grapevine. It does, huh? Yeah. What do you guys think? Doesn't that look like grapevine? He even has those little cleaners. This is my band-aid finger. Oh, look, someone made a seat for me right here. That was so nice of them. Here's how far we had to hike to get to this location. There's another one. Oh my gosh, I wonder why there's so many in this one hole. Wow, this little guy is spicy for the size. Wow. Still more. This hole is like the jackpot hole. There's another one. We finally got into whatever it was. I think we should call this location the slot machine. <laughs> Another <laughs> load right there. Eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, twenty thousand. That's a good one. More. Jiminy Christmas! It just doesn't stop in this spot. Yeah, I feel like I hit some kind of vein or something. You know? Totally. Then we need a, a, a rock rating system, like chili peppers, like the ones that just tick a little bit, or like a, a green chili, a mild green right. chili. You need a spicy one, you're like, oh, that's a jalapeno. <laughs> you get one that ticks like crazy, you're like, oh, habanero. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. <laughs> Ghost pepper for sure. <laughs> Whoa. Did I just set it on like the mother load right there or something? Yes. This rock just sitting there that I had dug out earlier. I missed. Super spicy. Yeah, I pulled it out as I was clearing out what was in there. There's so much coming out of this one hole, it's easy to get confused huh <laughs> yeah I just have to every scoop I just have to like do a little search on there it is that little chunk right there is like pure pitch blend see how black it is yeah that's cool it's this this it's not that that little piece right there uh, this is a spicy little piece of rock right there that little tiny guy you're just having a little Easter egg hunt over here you know what makes it more interesting is that I'm actually seeing the rock. The pieces, you know, that are radioactive versus just regular rock. And it makes it easier to, to visually identify it. I can almost see pieces that are going to be like total scores. Oh, right. That is cool. Oh, this is a good one.
Little Rock, 10,000 counts. What does radiation do to the plants and trees? Nothing really. I was going to say, it seems like in all the filming around Pripyat, I've never seen anything unusual or nobody has pointed out or filmed anything unusual like mutations on the trees or shrubbery or anything. Um, only they called the Red Forest. There was a uh, a area of the this one forest that was uh, hit with a significantly high amount of radiation from Chernobyl uh -huh. and it turned the trees red. Oh, it just colored them. And they called the Red Forest, yeah. All right, I think we're done with this hole. We're about to hit water, so maybe we'd better we stop. Oh. <laughs> that was a pretty good haul. Very good. In that hole. Oh, wow. 200 counts. I think we're going down a bit. All right, check this out. Pegging above above 50,000 counts right here. And I think it's actually in the rock. I think there's a vein right there. Yeah, look. Oh my gosh, it is a vein. Follow it up. The thing is screaming. It's hurting my ears, which are very cold, by the way. It's the end of June and it's 55 degrees today which is kind of wonderful for the middle of summer. I just wasn't prepared for my ears to be cold. I think this calls for a hot coffee and some kind of delicious breakfast. I wonder if I could chink out a little piece of that. 600 counts. Pretty good haul for today. Well, that was spice. I had to use the bag that we used to, uh, I used the bag to protect this from being contaminated. Even these little rocks right here are pretty spicy. These little guys wow. right here are kicking out 2,500 counts. Put them in the bag. Bag them and tag them. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's a pretty good haul. 22,000. <laughs> that's a good haul. <laughs> we'll take these back, we'll clean these up, and uh, we'll show you what they look like if we knock all the dust and stuff off and get them looking nice. Hey guys, we told you we'd show you what those rocks look like with the dirt washed off, and that was months ago. It took me this long to get it edited. <laughs> I just needed the break, so thanks for your patience, but here's what we wanted to show you. These are the rocks that we, uh, that we dug up on the video and then these are just some more rocks that we dug up in different locations here and then uh, that big rock that we initially dug up i actually broke it into little pieces here this is really radioactive as far as natural radioactive stuff goes so it's kind of cool i don't know it's just kind of weird that these rocks actually do something other than just sit there and look like rocks yeah well i think that's the thing about them is they aren't particularly beautiful or remarkable in any way but they're crazy radioactive if you have the equipment to know that they're radioactive. Yeah, it's kind of like a cool scavenger hunt. It's kind of scary because doesn't it make you wonder like, maybe that rock I've had in my front yard all these years could be radioactive or... Yeah, it's like, kind of neat. I grew up in the house my dad built, which is a rock house. And like, what if the rocks in our walls were radioactive? <laughs> it's crazy, huh? But we did want to take the time to show you guys this stuff because today, is actually a special day. Right? October 6th, 2022 is our two year anniversary for living in the bus. Ta da! I can't believe two years just went by just like I that. know. It's like it we've been in a bus by. for two years. And it's been a pretty comfortable, reasonably good experience. Yeah, well, we haven't quit, we haven't split up, <laughs> and we haven't killed each other yeah. or anyone else. So I think that, you know, says a lot. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching us. We, we know there's been like a lot of 
time in between videos and stuff, but Carrie really needed a break from editing and stuff. I've been working full time trying to make some money so we can get back on the road. Exactly, so, and that's coming up real soon, but soon. we have some other videos for you even in between now That's and right, then, so. so thank you guys for watching, and we'll definitely be seeing you guys next time, probably sooner than later. Absolutely. Love Bye, you guys. guys. See you soon.